This video will explain how to use the Import CSV utility. The app documentation illustrates how you can populate product shipping parameters using the app's user interface. This method is straightforward, but it can be very time consuming. If you have a lot of products, you'll find the app's import CSV utility much more efficient. While signed in to your Shopify store, navigate to the app preferences and then click on the import CSV tab. Click the template link to download the CSV file. Locate the file and open it. Each row in the file relates to a different product or product variant in your store. Columns A through J will contain information from Shopify. Use it to identify the product that you are entering shipping parameters for. Enter the product shipping parameters in columns K through U. Input the quote method into column K. Enter S if you want the Small Package Quotes app to provide rate estimates for the product. Enter L if you want the LTL Freight Quotes app to provide rate estimates for the product. Leave it blank if you want the app to ignore it. You must have an appropriate version of the app to retrieve a rate estimate corresponding to the specified quote method. For example, if you only have a small package version of the app, entering L will not result in the return of an LTL freight quote. Identify the freight class in column L. This is required only if you have one of the LTL freight quote apps installed. If you have both small package and LTL freight apps installed, you should assign a freight class to every product, even the small package products. The apps work together to determine which shipping methods should be displayed. If an LTL rate estimate is returned, its accuracy can be adversely affected if a freight class isn't identified for the small package products in the cart. Enter the product weight in pounds into column M. Column J has the weight in grams that was entered into Shopify. You may find it useful to reference when populating column M. If you're comfortable in Excel, you can create a new column in the file, convert the grams to pounds, and copy and paste the result as values into column M. Enter the product dimensions in inches into columns N through P. This isn't necessary for LTL freight quotes, but it is advisable for small package products. Small package carriers like FedEx and UPS build based on the greater of the actual or dimensional weight. Entering dimensions improves the accuracy of the returned rates. Columns Q through U are used to record the dropship information. Leave this blank unless you dropship products. When blank, products will be quoted as shipping from the warehouse nearest to the shopper. As a final step, select and delete the rows of the products you don't want to update. Once you have the file the way you want it, save it formatted as a comma-separated value or CSV file. Return to the app's Import CSV tab. Check the box to indicate that the first row of the file contains column headers and then click the Choose File button. Choose the CSV file and continue. In Step 2, use the drop-down fields on the right to identify the column header in your file that corresponds to the parameter shown on the left. If you didn't edit the headers in the CSV file you downloaded, they will be identical. Click Next at the bottom of the page. The import process will execute. At the conclusion, you will see the product IDs of the products that were successfully imported into the application. Underneath it, you'll see an exception report listing the ones that didn't. The most common reason why a product isn't imported is because it was removed from Shopify after the CSV import file was downloaded. You can repeat this process as often as you like. Just remember to remove the rows representing the products you don't want to update. 